Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the next episode in my 1860 Munich career mode. Now we have our first game getting right into it against SCV Frankert and right away we kick off as you see very fast editing that I did earlier Ooh. <laughs> and uh, Gnabry finds Benzia for our first chance but a defender seems to get it but he can't quite get it away and it's well saved by the goalkeeper. Quite poor finishing from Benzia now they have their chance of the game as a, a Cleared header, can't quite get it away, and a lovely through ball finds the player, but again, it doesn't come to much, but they get the ball right back, and uh, as they go into the box, we get the ball back fairly right, no, as the referee gives away a bizarre penalty, for me that's not a penalty ever, as you're about to see, it should show a replay, I think I included it, yes I did, for, for me he gets the ball first, then the player, I mean, for me that's not a penalty, any day of the Weak, but the referee is not me, he is himself, obviously. That was a weird comment. I try and scare him off with my do deck dancing tactics, and I think I dive left in the end. Yes, I do, but he does a cheeky chip down the middle area, and it's 1 0 to Frankfurt in very unfair circumstances. I think, but as you'll see, I'm not even cutting this bit out. We're looking for a swift res response, and can we get it as Chambers finds. Gnabry, some one two football between those two. Chambers cuts in past the player, but gets tackled. But he gets the ball back, lays it off for Osako, and it's a nice, calm finish past the goalkeeper to get the instant return and make it one apiece. Very good football from us. Very uh, unrelentless defending slash attacking by Chambers. Exactly what I brought him in for in the summer, and uh, hopefully. It won't be the end of our chances in this game, as you'll see. Very nice finish, and it's a uh, one-all. Now, uh, Gnabry here finds Osaku. Can we make anything from this? Osaku doesn't stop tackling. He gets past one lovely through ball, but Gnabry with an awful, awful finish. Looked like he could have scored then, but he couldn't do anything with it. Now, uh, waiting for them. On the ball, finds Lecky and uh, well saved by uh, Gazaniga to stop it going 2-1 to them. Now we're in the second half as uh, Osako finds Stark out wide. He tries to lay off Benzie and succeeds and again it's well saved by the goalkeeper. Benzie hasn't been able to score for us yet and that is a shame. But now it's last minute time and it's really crunch time. Only one minute of extra time and uh, nothing's going to happen in this minute except... They are on the attack, and will they get anything from this? Well, the tackle goes to the throw-in, and uh, they will take this quickly. After the substitution, there you go. And uh, they find... Uh, I can't say that. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> he stays in the ball, and again, a poor clearance finds Conrad. And again, a poor clearance finds Conrad again to Grolitz, and he hits the post, and it's finally cleared by the defender. And it will be full time any second now as so we get the ball back again from the uh, offside. And uh, Gazniga is going to hit it upfield, but the whistle will go. And uh, we probably escaped with that one there. It's been a couple times which we've tried to get the win and haven't succeeded. But as you see there, it is the table. And uh, we are all the way down in 13th. But uh, we're not too far off the higher positions. Only three points off so we really need a win in this game against Ignotisk I think FC Ignolaster and uh, they ac actually get the first chance as they find Engel out wide who's got quite a lot of pace not too much though but he does manage to find Igler who does a cross in but we can't get the ball away and it finds Cohen and that's a very good instant reflex save by the goalkeeper but from this corner will they get anything from it as it's well whipped in and no they will not as we get it away eventually there you go the player should have done a lot better than I thought it went off our own player but it didn't it was just a bad miss but again some poor defending led them to get the ball back straight away as Cohen gets the ball goes out wide I think no he doesn't he goes down the middle to Grob and he'll try and get a cross in. There you go. He goes out right to Butchner. 
He gets past one, just managed to get the cross in, and we head it away. But as you may see in the right of your screen, our player is down, our young centre-back. I can't remember his name right now. We'll show you in a minute. Yes, Slindler, Schindler. And uh, that is a really big blow for us. And uh, we've got a good replacement, but again, we lose a bit of youth in that player. So uh, there I am, just checking who the players are, getting them right in my head and unfortunately it's probably not the centre back I wanted out of the two to be injured if I had to pick one I'd probably want the older one as you'll see here though something really ha weird happens Stark hits it forwards and the goalkeeper collects simple as that except he keeps on running and running and Osaka tackles him and a lovely finish from that distance makes it 1-0 to us so uh, in a weird way that injury was a blessing in disguise if you could put it as that again that's that goal I mean, it was really bizarre by the goalkeeper, but all credit to Osako, who finished it nice and calmly from that distance. And uh, no mistake from that. It's quite a big gap to aim for, but I've still seen enough players mess that up. But we have the ball yet again as uh, Stark gets it. He's been involved in a lot of this game, actually. He gets the camp, who lays off Benzia. He'll take a shot, and it is well wide. And again, he's not been able to score for us. And it's quite poor finishing, but I'm still hopeful he will step it up in the future and make up for his price tag. But as you'll see, we get the ball straight back again from the goal kick as Mari finds Canabri, who finds Osaku. Can he get anything? No, he can't as it's well tackled. Spenzia finds Chambers to Mari to Stark. Really nice quick passing football to Stopgamp to Steinhover. I think that's how you say it. Finds Osaku, who gets past one with a lovely shimmy. And can he... Find the back of the net. Yes, he can. The goalkeeper didn't even move. And it's 2-0 to us. And it's the Osako show right now. And, uh, well, hopefully that will be the win in the bag. And it actually will be the win in the bag. Because I looked and looked and looked. But I couldn't find any more clips in this game. It just seemed like a stalemate from that point onwards. And we win 2-0. But here's the bad news from that. As Schlein is injured for three months. And, uh, again, I have to swap him out for... Uh, for, I can't remember his name, Flory, there you go, Flory, he's high rated but much, much older, but now we have a game against Dynamo Dresden, really important game for us, can we to continue our form, of course we haven't been defeated yet, but we haven't won that much of anyone one game, and that was our last game, but uh, Osako here, with a lovely shot off the post, but um, I can't remember his name again, so Louis, Louis, the left wing from Sporting CP, finds the back of the net, and it's uh, it's really good, it, it's the first time I think I put put him in the squad, and he makes an instant impact for us, but now they're on the attack themselves, as uh, Loz Lozilla for them, <laughs> finds the ball, and Griffo finds the back of the net, Really poor defending though, I don't know what the defender was doing, he just didn't even go for the ball it seemed like, and uh, easy finish with the diving header for the player, as you're about to see. Nice finish, bottom left, but really poor defending. Now Chambers out wide, can he make anything happen for us? No he cannot, as he gets tackled quite well, but it's a poor clearance away as Stark gets the ball, and he tries to find Benzia and it does eventually somehow find its way to him. But it's well saved by the goalkeeper. And that will be that. Except Stark finds Steinhover. Can he make anything? He cuts in well. Surely he can finish. No he cannot as it's an awful effort. I've been really unimpressed by his finishing. And that did him no help. Now Griffo is out wide for them. He gets past the defender really poorly by him. But a uh, nice Shot and uh, even better save. But now Gazaniga with a weird sort of clearance out. Finds Aouda. He's fiel and uh, again poor defending. Let's him get in. It was a cut back. Sorry attempt. And the defender with an awful touch allowed the player to finish. Now Gnabry is out wide. He gets past one. He gets past two but he cannot finish. Lovely save by the goalkeeper. But probably quite a poor finish. He could have gone a bit higher. Tried to do something a bit more... Uh, bit more harder to save than what he did now they get caught out of possession Stark with quite a strong challenge maybe even a foul but it wasn't given as Louise takes a shot well blocked but again the lucky deflection comes back to him and an even luckier deflection makes it the ball find its way into the back of the net as you're about to see it he took a shot it deflected off the player and looped 
over the goalkeeper's outstretched leg. And they really did not deserve that, as it's a very unlucky goal to concede. But uh, Lurie gets his second goal of the game and really shows he deserves that place in the first team and tells the manager to keep him there. And he nearly gets his third, but the Osaku brilliant through ball could not quite be finished as he snatched at the opportunity. And it will end 2 all as the... Uh, Team gets the ball out of their own half and the referee blows the whistle. But that's been a couple of really good entertaining games, I hope, in this episode. And uh, we're still undefeated, so plenty of positives to take. And as you'll see now, we are 8th in the table, but we are only 3 points off that promotion playoff space. So as long as we are up for promotion... I do not mind and the league will just be an added bonus if we can get it. But anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have anything to say. And uh, see you next time.